an example of the problem case how imtiaz is actually answering the challenges which are imperative in pakistan's retail that's going to be one of the examples of the problem case and another example for the process case is that how netflix was actually able to kill the cinema all right or in fact how exactly uh, the ott content was is able to take a uh, a springboard or a, a jump start in last few of the years in fact a lot of movies are actually which are produced by netflix uh, are, are, are nominated for the oscars as well uh, so how exactly the game has been changed so if we talk about the how part it will going to be a part of uh, the process case what and why and how it will going to be a part of the problem case in which you explore and you investigate the problem and you understand what alternatives were actually available at that time and what solution have actually been proposed uh, in that particular context ladies and gentlemen let's proceed a little bit forward and here i am going to tell you two of the types of inferences when we talk about inferences inferences means how exactly you take things out the route of writing down the case study ladies and gentlemen there are three types uh, one is called deductive reasoning deductive research another one is called inductive and the third one is called abductive for now uh, for this particular tutorial the the, the scope will going to be for, uh, between deductive and inductive and we are skipping out the abductive part and that probably perhaps will going to cover in some other tutorial for now it will going to be uh between deductive and inductive so let me just tell you uh and give you a brief about both of them how exactly they are and how exactly they are linked uh with the process and the problem case let me give you a brief about what deductive method is so when i talk about deductive you can easily understand from the name as well which is called deduce infer all right when we talk about deduce that which means that you have ample of the data and you are trying to deduce the substance which is imperative important vital and cardinal for you ladies and gentlemen when we talk about deductive method so deductive method is actually starting from the generalization and then you boil it down towards the specification all right when we talk about specification which means you start with a general statement you start with a theory which is generic in nature you start with the philosophy you observe that you take the uh, essence out of it you take the substance out of it and you go to the work field to the market to your respective domain of work you validate you testify it and then you make uh, 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 the value out of that kind of a case so a majority of the cases are actually written in, in fact process cases are actually written uh, and authored in in uh, in the method in the inferential method of uh, deductiveness all right rather than inductive method so in that in in deductive method uh, I, you can also see a pictorial uh, visual representation over here as well so you start from the generalization all right and then you boil it down to words uh, the specificity for example if we talk about the dairy industry of pakistan so you go through the dairy industry and slowly and gradually you're boiling it down and understanding the two of the leading uh, dairy companies in pakistan uh, freezing campina agro pakistan and nestle pakistan you understand that and then you actually uh, reach out to a conclusion all right so this is what the whole industry is actually talking about this is what the company is talking about what is the gap in between and if we actually see the 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 uh, the best practice of a market leader in that particular industry is that practice actually followed by other players as well so all these questions and all these alternative examination is predominantly a part of deductive reasoning method or perhaps we can also say that deductive research method when we talk about inductive reasoning inductive reason is actually the inverse of the deductive reasoning over here you start from the specification and you reach towards the generalization for example carrying forward the similar example that i have quoted uh, of the dairy industry so you study the best practices of freezing campina agro pakistan and after studying the best practices of their channel management of their shop marketing practices of their uh, brand innovation schema 
you reach out to the conclusion in a theoretical framework in a generalization framework that the whole dairy industry operates in a similar fashion all right so deductive inductive inductive method inductive methods are probably and uh, uh, in fact more 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 helpful in understanding in graphic in 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 making uh, a case worthy when you are opting for the problem case so when you are actually uh, opting for a problem case you can utilize this particular method the inductive method uh, with more efficiency with more effectiveness and uh, that will eventually going to give a better result uh, in terms of skill development and understanding to the reader uh, to, to anyone who is actually interested in knowing about uh, that particular uh, about the work on which you have done your research uh, just to, to add more value uh, to my viewers who are actually listening to me right now uh, deductive method is predominantly practiced by Aristotle so there were three uh, key uh, philosophers which has which have actually changed the course of uh, the world to an extent uh, Socrates uh, Aristotle and Plato so Aristotle used to apply for this particular uh, method which is the deductive method uh, from the general perspective and boiling it down towards the specificities uh, however if I talk about the method of Sherlock Holmes uh, Robert Downey Jr. and uh, who's the other one let me just recall that oh Benedict Cumberbatch by the way Benedict and I we both share the same birthday uh, he is amazing and I am trying to be one and perhaps that's how God wants to uh, create the balance in the world perhaps <laughs> all right so if you see the Sherlock Holmes if you see the movie and the, the, the series as well the method of Sherlock is actually employing in solving his cases it is absolutely inductive you have a situation you understand that and you draw general specificities in that you, you draw general inferences in that way all right so you see you examine a particular case and you draw a whole story out of it your media operates in this way all right our lot of biasness are actually operates in this way it is an inductive method when we talk about deductive it is a general method that eventually boils down